World of Learning, I'll be running a session which is about data analytics and L&D and how we can use data analytics to inform the correct learning design. For me, the biggest thing always is, do you serve the business? So we start in, from the point of view that it's not gut feel. You start by actually going out to the business and finding out what is going on and why what is going on is going on. And by taking your data, by analyzing it, by looking for more data, by uh, corroborating data, you start to see what the real or what the better picture really is. It's a bit like when you go to the doctor. If you go to the doctor and say, doctor, doctor, I've got a bad knee, that's the presenting problem. The issue might not be your knee. The issue might be your knee is hurting because you're carrying extra weight or because your shoes aren't fitting correctly or any number of things. And it's the same with L&D. People come along and they'll say something like, um, our salespeople aren't selling enough or our call center aren't taking enough calls. That's the presenting problem. And the data analytics helps you to unpick really what is going on. I think one of the reasons or, or some of the reasons I feel daunted is because they've heard terms like data analytics, quants, big data. Um, they've heard about the four V's of big data or the three V's of big data or depending on whatever it is you read, they've heard about data warehouses, data lakes, and they go, I don't understand any of this or I haven't got any of these or I don't know where to start. And really the approach that I'm going to take when I, when I speak at WALS is about just using the data that you've got. Think about having a data shed rather than a data warehouse. So you can just take some small amounts of data and start to work it through. Does L&D have the skills needed to deliver you know, informed learning design, the title of your uh, uh, seminar coming up at World of Learning? And, and what other skills and priorities might, might they need to be thinking about? I, I, I was talking to Kevin Yates at McDonald's last year, and he says L&D are now employing data scientists in a yes. way they haven't done in the past. So a number of questions there. Firstly. Do they have the skills? Yes, they do, because these are not specialist skills. Yes, indeed, some large organizations are employing data scientists. Now, one of the problems that that can provide is that some people think, well, if we don't have a data scientist, we can't do this. Well, that's not the case at all. You can take the data that you've got, and as long as you ask the right questions, you can get some meaningful detail out of it. You don't have to have a quant, you don't have to have somebody who's got a PhD in astrophysics and understands how to do all of these but we things. are at least talking analytical skills. You yeah. are talking analytical skills, but people are overthinking what you need for analytical skills. So here's the thing, most people who will be going to Waltz will uh, have a job and will probably run a household. They have the analytical skills because they're actually working out every month. Can I afford this? How much is it going to cost me to go on holiday? Do I need to get the car fixed? Is it worth getting the car fixed or is it time to buy a, a new one? So the people have some really strong analytical skills. But I think sometimes what they do is they hear certain buzzwords and they think, I can't do that. And the answer is they can. Yeah.